purine and uh, pyrimidine so some spontaneous alteration in their structure the rate of the spontaneous alteration of purine and pyrimidine is very low on the other side the cell has a very low tolerance level to such types of lesion or you can say alterations of purine and pyrimidine now there are several types of alteration like deamination and depurination like uh, formation of pyrimidine dimer in this video we discuss about the two in the later videos we discuss uh, the other types of the alterations of the dna so you can say purine or pyrimidine bases and there are several types of repair mechanism we discuss in uh, the repair in the later videos when we discuss about the replication process so alteration so purine and pyrimidine so some spontaneous alteration in their structure now one of these alteration is depurination uh, no first that is deamination so deamination de uh, through uh, deamination is a process through which uh, the certain bases like cytosine adenine uh, five methyl s Mm, there is another that is uh, 5 methyl cytosine as you can see uh, cytosine uh, 5 methyl cytosine adenine guanine uh, transform into uracil thymine hypoxanthine and xanthine so a deamination as you can see why it is called deamination so the nh2 is present in this side it is O, double O and O. So it these pairs losses the amino group which is present at this carbon. So the that is first cytosine is converted to uracil in the deamination process. Five methyl cytosine is converted into thymine in this deamination process. Adenine. is transformed into hypoxanthine adenine is transformed into hypoxanthine and guanine is transformed into xanthine so as you can see these are the four transformations of the normal bases to the other base this is the called uh, this is the example of deamination process so cytosine so deamination of cytosine transform uh, into the uracil uracil now so one cytosine one in every uh, 10 to the power 7 cytosine shows the alterations of uh, uh, shows the deamination process to uracil in 24 hour now why now the, uh, there is a question arises that why dna content thymine Uh, rather than uracil as we know the dna content thymine instead of uracil on the other hand rna content uracil now the deamination of cytosine leads to uh, transformation of cytosine into uracil now uracil uh, the cell or the repair mechanism in our system recognize uracil as a foreign component so there are several types of repair mechanism through which this lesion is repaired if the dna content if the dna content only uh, the uracil base as a normal cases so in this case it is very uh, difficult to recognize or differentiate between the normal uracil and the uracil which is formed from the deamination of the cytosine so that is why the uh, that is why the dna content uh, thymine not uracil now as in the case uracil so deamination of cytosine is uh, transformation into uracil and due to this the number of the gcp gcp is uh, uh, decreases number of gcp is pair decrease on the other hand the atp is pair or au au is pair increases in such cases 
so you have to remember one thing that adenine transform into hypoxanthine guanine is transformed into xanthine cytosine is transformed into uracil in this deamination process now next spontaneous alteration that is deep urination so what is deep urination as you can as you can, the as the name says deep urination means loss of purine so it is also spontaneous alterations of the purine bases now suppose a guanine so guanine we take a example of guanine so the deep urinations of guanine so n beta glycosine bond is clipped and suppose this is the structure as you can say this is uh, the upper side this is the structures of uh, guanine so here it is guanine this is the deoxy uh, deoxyribose sugar and it is a phosphate and it is a uh, n beta glycosyl bond so this is n beta glycosyl bond so during this uh, uh, depurination process the n beta glycosyl uh, glycosyl bond is cleaved so the guanine base is separated from the deoxyribose sugar now this type of lesion is called epicyte or you can say apurinic or apimidinic site or abacic site this type of lesion called it called as epicyte abacic site or apurinic or apimidinic site so when um, such dna losses some purine most of the cases purine uh, there is a low chance of the loss of the pimidine so so the base attached with the deoxyribose sugars with n beta Uh, glycosyl uh, glycosyl bond so during the depurination de process the n beta glycosyl bond is cleaved and guanine is separated from the other part and this type of lesion is called as a epicyte or abacic site apurinic site apimidinic site now in the later video we discuss about the uh, dimerizations of the bases uh, thymine dimer or Uh, and there are several types of other spontaneous alterations there is some alkylating agent that leads to transformations of the bases of the dna and how those lesions are repaired we discuss uh, later videos thank you